All right, Kenman here, and today we have a very special knife overview and glance. First, look, check it out. This is a sponsored video brought to you by Mr. Eddie himself. I have a link to uh, Mr. Eddie's uh, Instagram down in the description. He is a knife collector and knife maker. This is one of the really cool knives that he makes. I bought this one off of him. Awesome looking. Tell me you don't want something like this in your life. If you do, go to his Instagram. Check it out. He's got some cool designs. He also has a really uh, vast selection of some very interesting knives that he has been so graciously um, allowing me to check them out. So he sent me about a dozen to kind of look at, review, um, share with all you, and then I will get them shipped back to him. So this knife is sponsored by Mr. Eddie. Other than that, I am not sponsored by anyone. I purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. We have the right knives, Cicada. You can tell what it is just by the box. Very cool, I am excited to check this out. It is a really neat looking knife. Right comes with a nice little info card. Their cool design logo. Bow, make that go away. Got our cloth here. It is kind of a neck knife, so it comes with this chain if you want to put it on there. It doesn't have a pocket clips, or otherwise you could just put it in your pocket and uh, live with it like that, or put it on a that neck knife piece if you're interested. And there it is the cicada so it's got that branding it says cicada right there awesome looking integral handles which means this is a one piece titanium handle it's been carved out or milled out so really if you look there is only the the pivot and the button there's the only screw is right there because there's no sandwich pieces that need to be held together wow that is cool so you have to hold the button down and then you can flick the blade out. We have that. Is it even? There it is. M390 blade. Very, very minimal on the branding. Just a little bit on the side and a little on the blade right there. But that keeps from distracting you from the, this excellent looking cicada. Man, that is milled out all one piece. And then I don't know how they got the gold on these raised areas. They are definitely raised up. You can feel that texture in those um, wings. Super cool. So like I said, you got to hold that button down. And then you can flip the blade out. Oh, it's holding the button. Kind of takes a little used to getting used to. There you go. And then you can, you can just swing it out, swing it closed like a button lock. Um, very interesting. Anyone ever have a knife that's got uh, action like that or is this one of the only ones it's, it's interesting I almost want to just you just want to just flick it out but it kind of it's designed because all those ridges are around there you can catch that in your pocket and it could just swing it out so I guess it makes sense with this action on there unless you would you would need a strong detent to kind of help hold that in place it does work I think it's just another one of those things that since it's a new kind of a design, I'm not really used to it. Here we go. We're getting kind of working it in, getting better at it already. It's got that blue accent, so you can see it does have their logo right there. That Right Knives logo, the RK. Wow, this is super cool. So those jumps on there feel really nice. Very easy. They'd like if if. It, it's very grippy so if you got that button on there it's gonna swing out I don't think that's it's like just they're nice and tight really easy to Ooh, I could talk this in a weird way <laughs> pardon me interesting how it's got the hole through the blade this is a very aesthetically pleasing kind of a design they've got this kind of almost like it's like a relic like you found it like just this was made 2000 years ago this beetle looking the cicada obviously but it's just got that bug insect kind of look really excellent design 
I would almost consider taking this little ring up. You can hear the sound it makes when it's spinning around on there because I'm not going to hook it on anything. I'm not really a loop lanyard or neck knife person. This would be something I would use just in my fifth pocket. Let's everyone think about this one. Enjoy uh, these Mr. Uh, Eddie unboxings and sponsored uh, videos. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Boom. So it is not a double-edged blade. It looks like it is, but this uh, outside edge is not sharp. It's just this one side here. So as it's closed or if it was kind of coming out, this is not a sharp edge. Although <clears throat> the way this design is and it's completely hidden in there, they could have made that a double edge. Comment below. Would you prefer that to have been a double-edged blade? A dagger blade. Ah, oh, this thing is cool. Is it something that you would use? I suppose this would be like one of the fanciest package openers. If you had this at the office and were like, oh, I need to open a box and you pull this thing out, they'd be like, ah, you'd be the talk of the, the room. They'd be like, what is going on? Where did you get that? It's gorgeous. It's just so overdone, but in a good way. Right? If you're a collector and you're looking for something unique, this could be it. Plus the integral handle. I'd like to get myself, uh, get my hands on one of these, but it's obviously significantly more expensive because you're, they have to mill that whole thing out. And if they, if they have one little issue when it's going, boom, you've wasted that whole piece. You basically got to throw it away and start over. Very cool. All right, let's get some measurements on this thing. Zoom in. Definitely a small knife, barely five inches all the way across. You can get it to five and a quarter if you're including this little ring, but without that, you're looking at five inches total. Blade is about one and seven eighths. I suppose you could call it two inches if you measure from there to there and the cutting surface. Cutting surface is almost two inches with this little bit of a belly. And the handle, you could call it three and an eighth, more like three and a quarter if you include that ring, like I said, but I don't know if you really include that. Okay, so blade thickness is going to be the thickest right in that middle section there. So we'll just go ahead and squeeze all the way across. It is 0.10, so most mid, not quite full size knives are between that 10, 11, 12 hundredths. So comparable on thickness. Handle average is usually about a half. So up here it's about five, six. If you get kind of down a little bit lower, about four or eight. So it does kind of have a contour and kind of get a little bit thicker towards the middle. If you go all the way to this edge here, 0.3 versus that almost 0.5 in the center. So it does have a nice little contour to it. Cool design for sure. All right, let's zoom back out here. Try not to make everyone super dizzy bouncing around there. Weight is 2.52. It's a smaller knife, so I kind of imagined it was going to be. Um, I compare everything with the CJRB Pyrite. It's just a good kind of average mid closer to full size knife. 3.67, 2.5, obviously lighter because it's a smaller knife. And we will get that out for the comparison here. So, obviously smaller than that Pyrite. By quite a bit in every way. Let's get out the mini pyrite. It's going to be a little bit more comparable to that. Actually, almost perfect to it. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. So yeah, the pyrite has quite a few different offerings. So if you have a mini pyrite, you can look this uh, Reich is almost the same size as it. Yeah, if you want to check out the Mini Pyrite, check it out right up there. I do have a link to CJRB if you want to use that affiliate. It does do a little kickback for the channel. But um, yeah, if you can't afford 
uh, expensive cicada like this, then I would consider a mini pyrite. Nice little fidget. It's got that button lock action, very similar, but it will be more fidgety than the Reich, but less decorative. <laughs> Still a fun little small fifth pocket knife. Thanks again, Mr. Eddie. Stay sharp. We'll see you soon.